Ladies and gentlemen, more Satan clubs for children is coming. And the announcement is made about how it is growing across the country. After school Satan clubs gain popularity amid legal victories. After school Satan clubs have been steadily increasing in popularity and are not likely to slow as their supporters rack up media attention and legal wins, fighting for free speech. Mm -mm -mm. The club associated with the Satanic Temple and offered only in primary schools began in the beginning of 2020 and quickly gained attention from parents who wanted an alternative to religious clubs. According to June Everett, campaign director of the After School Satan Club, that's kind of when things went, <laughs> you know, it, it just all started blowing up. And I anticipate every year moving towards going to get busier and busier, Everett told The Hill. Last Monday, U.S. District Court of Eastern District, Pennsylvania, ruled in favor of the Satanic Temple and the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, which sued the Northampton County School District would not allow the club to meet on its grounds. In a victory for free speech and religious freedom, a federal court has ruled that Saucon Valley School District must allow the After School Satan Club to meet in district facilities, the ACLU announced. Wow, they went to court and fought in this school district just so they can have it up, and they won. The Satanic Temple was founded in 2014 and says its mission is to encourage benevolence and empathy, reject tyrannical authority. A member should also use practical common sense and stand up for justice according to its website. There are congregations around the country and they tell those interested that if their goals are to sell my soul, get rich, join the Illuminati, etc., they should look elsewhere. While the clubs are controversial, Mostly for their name and association with the Satanic Temple, students are not actually getting uh, any instructions in devil worship. We're definitely not interested in having children identify as Satanists, said Rose Basket. So who have been involved with the Satanic Temple for four years? So y'all... Mm -mm -mm. The After School Satanic Club volunteer, B.M. Williams, primary in Chesapeake, Virginia. She started the process to get the club in the school in October of 2020. The process took so long because the school was giving us the runaround and she believes they were in the background looking for a way that they could prevent us from meeting. The club was officially approved in February. They finally approved us and that's when it hit the news. And oh, the media here just went insane. The school received a bomb, uh, a bomb threat days after the club had its first meeting. Although police said they could not confirm the incident was connected to the After School Satan Club, well, they believe it was. They believe that was the reason why they received a bomb threat. The local Christian mom groups, everything, they really stirred up a ruckus, making it seem like we were doing something nefarious, adding that they tried to intimidate me 
by releasing my legal name, Everett said the clubs are excellent alternatives to Christian after-school groups. So, hey, you know, don't be surprised if this start cropping up more and more in some of your local areas, because if they won this court victory, it's really not much school districts can do to stop it. So it looks like their intention is to keep on growing this thing. So our meetings a couple of months ago, we learned about Virginia native bats. She said last meet the last meeting we had, one of the parents in the club volunteered to bring a bunch of bones and fossils that she and her husband had found in Virginia. The program could change this coming fall because Everett said they are considering teaching some of the seven core tenets of the satanic temple in the clubs, but that plan has not been finalized. Hmm. The seven tenets include compassion and empathy towards all creatures in accordance with reason and that beliefs should conform to one best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's belief. We came out with a book that is like the children's version, or I should say a very sweet way to interpret. The tenets are in a very understanding way that children could understand. So we might start actually using this book to talk to the kids about our seven tenets, Everett said. We have a lot of big plans for next school year, she added. Well, y'all gonna have to tell me what you think now that they have won a court case and plan on expanding to more schools as an alternative after school program. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section, ladies and gentlemen. I've done these videos before in the past. It's been a while, but it's back. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.